Hi everyone, Keela Sentra here. Um, just moved house. Uh, so today is the 17th and we moved from the 11th to the 13th and um, just starting to get the house in order now. So I um, had a bit of an accident during the move and uh, I got a tear in my ACL on my right knee so I'm hobbling around at the moment but um yeah very very sore um i did get a couple of packages while in transit so to speak i got one package actually both these arrived just before i moved so but everything was packed away um as you can see it's very minimalistic here at the moment so i'm not sure whether to keep it this way or go back to the old setup with a whole bunch of clutter everywhere i don't know and there's an echo, echo, in this room, um, because it's bare. That's why there's not much stuff in here. So, anyway, um, I got this from my good friend Alex. Who he sent me some ejector pins. So these will come in very handy for my DD pick. Uh, I got one of those cheap DD picks. Um, managed to pick one lock, uh, and the tip snapped. So these are like gold. I can I searched everywhere for these, and um, my good friend Alex, who thank you, thank you very much for these. Um, these are solid one piece. So just gonna need to file down the uh, tips to uh, certain profiles of locks. I've got a, a, a an Abloy three two one padlock. It's got a sort of weird profile head on it, um, a tip on it. So I'll need to uh, get my files out and start doing that. Also, I received a package from Gordon W. So, me and Gordon have been going back and forth, emailing each other. Um, I've, I've got a few challenge locks I'm gonna send him, and he um, sent me some challenge locks, and a couple of other locks as well. This is not an official package opening. I'm trying to make it look like one, but I have been in here because I have not been able to get into my locks yet because they are still boxed up and my missus wanted everything um, uh, arranged in the house first. So, yes. So first we have a syndicate keyring. Syndicate, isn't that cool? So, I like, I like, I like that. I think it's aluminium. Um, but that, that, that'll that be going up on my board up here somewhere. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, I've got, everything's packed away, so it's just bare, bare minimum. And I'll just show you what else he sent. Um, he sent me some pretty cool stuff, actually. So, as far as challenge locks go, um, this one here is Claymore Challenge Lock Number One. It's a Yale rim cylinder. And look at the bitting on that key. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't like picking Yales. <laughs> Anyone else raise your hand, please? Because, um, yeah, I, I don't know, it's just a weird sort of warding thing going on. I, I don't know. And then to have bidding like that, they just look like zero lift. But I haven't tried to pick this, so I don't know what's going on here. It does work. We'll see what happens. Um, got another Yale here. This one's a six pinner, and this one is Down Payment Blues by Papa Smurf. Um, there's your key bitting there on that one. And that one works smooth as. Um, change lock, change lock, change locks. Okay, so this one here, I believe, can find the key. No, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, this one's from Matt's lock pit, but I don't know what the key is now. Here it is. So this is a Maxis oval cylinder. Um, judging by the top, six pinner. Um, can't tell by the key because it's mummified. So um, yeah, that's the Maxis there one there by Matt's lock pit number five. Uh, got one in this little bag. It's pretty cool, huh? Uh, golden gum nuggets, tutti fruity flavor, candy coated bubble gum, and um, it's number number twenty six, Black Widow, by Boy Bilbo eighty one, and it 
I believe is this one here, yep. So it's got the Black Widow written on there. And uh, the 26. And the key is here. Mummified. And sort of a Yao-ish sort of keyway, but fairly accessible. And this is his number 26. So, yeah. All right. That one goes with that one. Uh, he sent me one from... Sightless Sensei and Lady Lockpicker. This is a little kick cylinder with a Schlag sort of style backing. Um, five pinner, that's your bitting. And I'm not sure if it came off a bit of machinery or something because it's black and decker written on it. So, um, yeah, works smoothly, has. It's very, 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 very smooth. And I received this one here, which came without a key. And I have seen these initials, WGK, which I believe is Wolfgang. So I believe this is a challenge lock. It's a BKS. Um, see how we go with that one. And he sent me two other very nice Euro locks. These are just stock locks. Uh, this one is a V5 or a VS. I don't know, what do you guys reckon? Is a V5 or a VS? I don't know. Um, it's a five pinner. There's your bitting. Yeah, you can see that? Yeah, that's the bitting there. And uh, works perfectly. And because I'm I was bored and all my locks are packed away back that way. Um, I I've already picked this one. This is an awesome, awesome pick. Very heavy, shiny lock, the way I like them. And this is a stock lock. This is a Eurospec uh, MP10 multi pin security. So, um, yeah, this is a really, really cool pick. Uh, it's got these uh, little cutouts here for the for, for key control. So, it's got passive side pins in there. And this one works smooth as mustard. So, um, once we get settled in and once I get everything sorted I will be sending out Gordon W some locks as well so um, uh, so we're in Normanville so that's about an hour's drive from Adelaide um, so we are sort of semi rural country sort of style um, uh, our backyard faces out to a golf course and 18 hole links golf course um, yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty nice up here. The beach is only like 500 meters from here as well. Um, there's a few op, op shops in town and um, picked up this for 50 cents. This is one of those cheap diamond uh, Chinese water locks. Look at that key on it. Look at the key on it. It looks complex, doesn't it? But um, this thing is so bloody light. I, I swear the key is heavier than the lock. I don't know what all this means here. Um, I, I don't get into watered locks. This is my first watered lock, but it works. I mean, it feels like there's nothing in there. I, I, you know, I have a look in there and it's just, I don't know. I don't know if it just works off this end thing here or something. I must have got something in there and try to get it open at a later stage, but um, yeah, it does work. So yeah. Um, yeah, just wanted to say, um, yeah, we won't have internet I'm working off my iPad and the um, I put some credit on there, but we won't have any Wi-Fi or internet till the 21st. So um, apologies for not watching anyone's videos, not leaving hardly any comments. Um, I will I will get back into the swing of things over the next week. Um, yeah, so I'll go from there. All right, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys shortly. Take care.